I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to install macOS on Hyper-V using Windows 11. It's not officially supported, and I believe it's Intel only. Sorry, AMD. It's a relatively simple procedure. There are a few steps involved. Links will be provided in the description. First, download the UFI virtual disk and extract it to your VM directory. It's this thing here, this link, beta release 2.3.1. We're gonna download that. And we're gonna create a directory to store all our stuff in and we're gonna copy that over. Next, we're gonna download OpenCore from Open Package, OpenCore Package right here. Latest version is 0.9.8. We're gonna to go to the Utilities, Mac Recovery, right click, Open in Terminal. And we're gonna type in Python, Mac Recovery, PY, OS, latest, download. And it's going to take a minute to download the recovery disk. Okay, we're done. It was about 800 megabytes. So it went by pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and just close this. And here is the new folder here. Com Apple Recovery Brute. We're going to open up the Eufy virtual disk that we had earlier. And we're just going to copy this over. Simple as that. I'm going to back out of here. And then we're going to... What do you call it? Eject, there we go. And that's it as far as the disk goes. And next we're gonna go ahead and open up the Hyper-V Manager. We're gonna create a new virtual machine. Next, let's call it macOS. We're gonna store it in a different location. In my case, it was macOS. Okay, we need generation two, eight gigabytes for startup memory. Make sure dynamic memory is also selected. Alt switch and everything else here should be fine oh yeah size i'm gonna make mine 30 that's the minimum uh, but it's recommended to make it over 60 gigs install operating system later finish okay right click and click settings now uh for virtual processors here what you're gonna do is look at task manager see i have four logical processors these are also known as threads it's gonna be half that number so mine already defaults to two, so that's fine. Uh, let's make sure that secure boot is disabled. Let's make sure guest services is selected. Everything is selected here under integrated services. Go ahead and disable checkpoints to avoid problems in the future. Go ahead and click apply, make sure everything is applied. Now for under, we're gonna add the UFI drive that we added earlier. So on the SCSI controller, click add. It's gonna be a virtual hard disk. We're gonna browse for it. And uh, we need to give it our location. There we are. Apply. Then under firmware, we need to make sure we put that at top. And let's put the network adapter at the bottom. This way it boots off of our uh, UFI disk first. That should be it. Just right click and start. If everything works out fine, open core should come up just like that. All right. Op success. So you might see this right here. Don't worry about it. You don't have to reset. You just have to wait about five minutes. And there we go. Ooh, look at that. The Apple logo. Here we go. Mac OS recovery. We want to go to the disk utility. We want to select our MFS, MSFT virtual disk media. We want to erase. Format it as APFS. Let's call it Mac OS HD. And to continue. And then we want to go back. Reinstall macOS Sonoma. Set up the installation of macOS Sonoma. Click continue. Loading installation information. Takes a while. Okay, it's unavailable. Let's find just agree, agree. Continue. And here we go. Now it'll be installed. I don't know if it's really going to take two hours and 29 minutes, but uh, we'll find out. 
So far, it's been a little over an hour. Uh, the reason is because it's actually downloading the image. Uh, so I've only got a 50 megabit internet connection. So that's going to be your bottleneck. Okay, it looks like something has happened. It restarted. See if it's finally finished. It restarted and we got the Apple logo. Nice. Ooh, here we go. It rebooted again. Are we finally finished? Nope, not yet. Ooh. So it rebooted a few times. And now we're sitting at a gray screen. And there we go. Ooh. Select country or region. United States. Not now. I don't know about any of that stuff. That's my first time using macOS myself. How do you want to transfer your information? Not now. There we go. Set up later. Agree. Really wants my name, huh? Alright, that's fine. Creating an account seems to take a long time. Looks like we're also downloading something. Continue. There's no location services. This is virtual machine. Select time zone. Pacific standard time. I don't care. Uh, screen time. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I've never actually used a Mac before. Uh, we'll just start with light mode. Keyboard setup assistant. Your Apple device cannot be identified and will not be usable. Okay. Press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard. On the, that's the right, that's the left. Immediately to the right of the shift key. That would be Z. Press the key immediately to the left of the shift key on the right side of the keyboard. Okay. Standard. Okay. And that's it. We have installed macOS in Hyper-V on Windows 11.